Hello there, crafty friends. It's me, Nicole, and I'm here with another dollhouse tour from Willow Tree Miniatures. Um, I've finally finished with this house. It's been quite a busy summer. Um, I absolutely adore it. So let's check it out. All right. So the client wanted farmhouse and they wanted it to be light, natural woods. Um, and I think we definitely captured that. So let's check it out. All right. So first of all, as you know, this is a refurbished dollhouse. It was originally bright pink and a bunch of other colors. And now it's just totally different. It's got a light, airy, really natural feel to it. All of our houses light up. So let's turn the lights on and check out each room. All right. You can find those puck lights right on Amazon. So you can't really tell in the daytime how well these lights light up the house, but they do an, an amazing job lighting the house up. So I decided to put the living room on the top floor because it really is just such a wonderful statement room. And I love that you can just walk out to the patio. Um, that cabinet back there, I put some pumpkins in there since we are approaching fall. Everything comes out. The books I glued in so that because those will get lost really easily so some things i did glue in so that they stay there permanently and then other things you can swap out for the seasons the beadboard back there is made with um edge banding so veneer edge banding the paper is discontinued uh it was the last two pieces of wallpaper i had from um scrapbook customs i absolutely adore that paper it's called um, Tiny Fern. I made the frame back there with bamboo sticks. Check out the sign. The lamp I had, I just uh, spray painted it white, did a little edging with some ribbon, kind of dress it up a little bit. Oh, how cute is this tea set? And it's perfect um, for this house and scale. I should mention that it's done for a Lori doll scale, which stands at about six and a half inches. So everything is scaled to her. Um, the placemat is a kitchen mat. The table is from Dollar Tree. I just cut it down and stained it. It was a little bit too tall for a coffee table. So I had to trim the legs. The plant is from Michael's. There's some extra little pumpkins just to fantastic it. That's not a word, but I just made it a word. Um, the patio set over here is a Lori doll patio set. It's, I had had it. Um, I bought a doll that came with it, and this patio set is so sweet. I just love it. It's got the two chairs, the little table, and the lounge. The entire house inside and out is papered with brick um, scrapbook paper. Well... The thicker it's Ella and Viv so it can be used for wallpaper or scrapbook paper but um, I just wanted a little bit more texture I didn't want plain white walls in this house I wanted to do something really special uh, that's a shadow not a stain and I just love 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 this brick paper let's turn on the light in the living room in the live or the bedroom rather I wanted a really big master bedroom so I decided to put the master on the middle floor we have the bed is custom um, the bedding is uh, a chamois a sweater a dish towel fabric I made the pillows underneath the bedding there's also a mattress made from magic eraser sheets which also has the same pattern of the pillowcases um, the dresser is handmade I used a Dollar Tree crate with popsicle sticks and wooden beads the plants I made out of um, a tiny little jars, I guess, wooden jars. The fish tank. <laughs> How cute is the little fish over here? He even has a little air bubble by his mouth, which I think is just precious. The iPad. She's got a pair of glasses over there. I found this little dog bed. I don't even know where I found the dog bed. Um, in my stash of things, I made a little mattress for the dog. Um, the nightstand so is custom the bureau or armoire I had this from an old dollhouse miniature store that used to be 
by my house that closed. So I've had this for a while, but I jazzed it up. I stained it and oh, camera's out of focus. I'm sorry. I stained it and I added the, the paper just to customize it. And there's hangers in there. There we go. The Wayne's coating in the back. I did with um, wood slats, bamboo sticks, and popsicle sticks. So it's really nice. It has like the extra little ledge up on the top, which kind of gives it that real country kind of feel. The cathedral windows um, are decor windows. Uh, the macrame in the center uh, and the hanging plant were both keychains that I turned into. Um, I guess, you know, macrame for the house. The, the paper for the carpet is Asuka Studios. The kitchen is probably my favorite room in the house. It, again, everything is scaled for this doll. So she fits everything. I've got a candle stick and a candle topper for the table. Those chairs are originally hot pink, but I jazzed them up to make them fit the vibe of the house. Those placemats are rattan earrings. How cute is that little uh, table setting? I made the entire kitchen set out of crates, popsicle sticks, paint sticks, um, wooden dowels. Uh, the knobs on the oven are just, um, what are they called? Nouveau drops. That little range top I found on Timu, which is like such a score because the one thing that's really hard to find when m making your own furniture would be parts to make an oven. Um, you can make a sink out of anything, but I chose to use a real ceramic sink in here. Um, it is just really nice. That little paper towel holder um, I found in my stash, but I changed it up, painted it to match the rest of the kitchen. Um, the coffee pot, um, the rice cooker, the blender, all of that I got from a miniature shop. The shelves here, I glued those things in so that they just stay there as permanent decor items. Um, how cute is that? That little shelf back there. All of the paper comes from Joann's and, oh, the interior wallpaper. It came from the Sonoma collection. Actually, let's light the kitchen up. How nice. The bathroom is one of my favorite rooms in the house. I used tile paper from the Dollar Tree, so it does have that really nice shine to it. I cut the mats from um, a mop top. I made the furniture again. I've got another ceramic sink in there. The mirror I made from a picture frame and a candle tray. The sign came from Target in this little tray decor set. Uh, the shower I created by using the Dollar Tree tiles. Um, the tub was actually a tub that came from a L'Oreal set. The loofah and the shower head I found um, on Timo in their miniature section. The toilet, how cute is the toilet with the little toilet paper? It opens up. Um, I found that as well on uh, Timo in their miniature section. The stairs are, I used popsicle sticks or craft sticks rather, and I stained them. The, all the stain in the house is special walnut um, by, I can't remember the brand name, but it's like the, it's the yellow can, you know, you can't miss it in any hardware store. Special walnut, I absolutely adore that color. It's so light and farmhousey. And yeah, the house just came together. This is one of my favorite houses in terms of how light and airy it is. Um, it's just, it would match any decor really in any, in any house these days, except for my house, which is hot pink and crazy, but that's who I am, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, that's our house. And like I said, it's papered uh, inside and out with the brick. and that's a wrap drop in the comments what you think about the house um and what maybe what else you'd like to see in future houses any styles colors that you might want to see for our next project all right adios bye bye